Hello and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow, coming back at you with a new video. If you are new to my channel, a warm welcome from my heart to yours. Come join the family if you want. Got a cool community here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for all your support. We made it to 1K likes. I can start doing posts now. I, I just got that notification. Hey, thank your subscribers through a post. So look forward to that in the near future. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So before I, uh, uh, just a preface, the moon is in Aquarius, so my mind is going to be all over the place, but I know you guys dig it, and I just feel really in my element today. I feel so at home when the moon is at Aquarius. Even though I'm a Virgo moon, I feel the electric, the electric energy. What's that song? MG, MK, uh, electric feel. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, focus. All right. <laughs> Today I'm doing a video on Scorpio Risings. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna title this, but I believe this is gonna be why people feel the need to control us and what you can expect if you become an evolved Scorpio Rising and some later thoughts on shamanism. Okay, so as a Scorpio Rising, I had the thought that most people wanted to control me, which for the most part they do because of my power, especially Pluto in the first house. And secondly, I felt, okay, a lot of people feel the need to control me and keep me closer to them because of my sexual energy. They just really want it. They gotta have it. They need it. Think of SpongeBob. I need it. So that's why I feel this, this crazy control amount from partners, from love interests, from romance partners, from friendship even Scorpio rising I do want to say this I've come to a new epiphany and this is it if you're Scorpio rising Pluto on the first house or just a regular Scorpio rising because you got that power naturally people want your power once you have evolved evolved excuse me and turned into a light worker. So as a Scorpio rising, one of our purposes in life is transformation. You already know this, going through transformation over and over in your life. And then becoming the ultimate healer. Because once a Scorpio rising learns to forgive their past, learns to make peace with it, learns to let go of grudges, learns to transmute energy, to channel in rage, to feel their emotions, to channel in negativity and pain and suffering and peace and love and friendship and then channel it out and transmute it, they become a light worker. They become the ultimate healer and their vibration changes. And this has happened to me over the months, over the span of a few months. And I came to the epiphany that certain friends and people, excuse me, really, really can turn into codependency with me. Pardon me. I gotta get this message out in <laughs> my throat chakra. Because of my energy as a light worker. Because if you're around someone who is a healer, their heart chakra is open. It's wide open. Their chakras are aligned. They're on the way to being so. And they offer so much light. They offer so much healing. It's almost a nurturing motherly presence, regardless of your sex or what you identify as. You could even have a lot of masculine energy, still be nurturing. People become addicted to that. People really love that. People really enjoy it and they almost want to keep it for themselves. They want to keep that energy for themselves because they're not in a space in their life. This isn't for everyone. This is just for certain friendships I've seen that have fallen out. I'm not saying I'm still involved in these, but people that aren't on the right path yet, they want to cling to your energy because you've already transmuted it, went higher, and they 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 almost it becomes addictive and then because it becomes addictive, they start to try to make you from a friend, I've noticed this specifically with friends, to a friend to a girlfriend. I own you, you're my best friend. Why are you hanging out with them? Why haven't you hit me up yet? Why haven't you texted me? Why didn't you tell me good morning, good afternoon, good night? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> As a Scorpio, this is a, whoa, a repeller for us. Like, what are you doing, man? What? 
So yeah, that is something I noticed. I used to think it was more of my sexual energy and that's not to say that doesn't have something to do with it, duh, but it's also if you have turned into a healer and I don't mean at all to sound, I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way as in I'm perfect or condescending or I'm on a different level than people. By no means. I am still learning. I'm. There are still other people above me that have healed more, that have done more shadow work than me, that have addressed their trauma, that have healed more. And I aspire to be that high, but I have noticed the progress I've made. I have came to term and came to peace and confronted internally a lot of things in my subconscious mind, a lot of trauma, a lot of shadow work, a lot of traits in myself that I saw in others that I didn't like, so I had to confront them within me. So I've noticed a change and I've noticed that, that energy of a lot of friends trying to keep me. <laughs> so if this is happening to you as a Scorpio rising, do know it's normal. The best thing you can do is if, if, if it turns sour with a friend, you know, cut them out, but also don't enable codependency. If you are around a friend and they really like your energy and they like you as a healer, still take the time to do your own thing. Don't hang out with that person every day set up boundaries hey I'm gonna I need my space I'm gonna go do my thing and if they respect that that's cool they're learning they're they're going on their journey as well there was another thought I wanted to say about Scorpio rising and light work oh shamanism so if you're Scorpio rising you could very well be a shaman here's some signs that you're a shaman you could have had a mental breakdown at some point in your life you went crazy you went insane you had a psychotic break you went to a mental hospital intense stuff and the reason for this is it's almost as if you've been struck by lightning because in olden days a sign you were a shaman was being physically struck by lightning but in our present modern day, being struck by lightning is going crazy. It's when you get all these spiritual downloads at once and your body literally doesn't know what's up. So you go insane for a little bit. Insane. I wouldn't, you didn't really lose your mind. You just had so much your physical body couldn't comprehend it. And this rips you away from your physical body. Another sign of shamanism is you could have a physical ailment that won't go away. Even if you go to a doctor's, to a doctor, this could be maybe you have scoliosis, maybe you have an immune auto disorder, I believe that's how, it, yeah, immune lupus, or you could struggle with some kind of mental uh, mental illness like bipolar and it can't seem to go away. That's a sign you are a shaman or you have shaman-like tendencies, you know? So as a shaman, your job, your purpose on this earth, if you're Scorpio rising and you, you resonate with a few of these signs, is to not change the energy, to embrace every energy coming towards you and within yourself, but get it out of your body and transmute it. And if you're a shaman, you also have a lot of energy in your hands. You might feel this tingling sensation right above on your aura when you're sitting down or when you're thinking about someone. I did this this morning. I felt some, I have been having trouble sleeping and I had some emotional baggage of uh, more, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had some more of emotional ties, cords that needed to be cut, and I felt that because I was feeling very restless, cut off. But uh, restlessness, not willing to sleep, not able to sleep. And I got up in the morning and I told myself, okay, I, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, which is a chant you can do, a mantra, in order to cut cords. And I sent this to one, two, three, four, four, four or five people that I felt a lot of resentment for, a lot of grudges, a lot of uh, repressed anger that I thought I had released, but it still kept coming up. And while I did this, I put my hands out like this. And I said, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I release you. I forgive you. Please forgive me. And when I did that, I felt all this energy above my hands. So if you feel a lot of energy in your hands and all over your body at random times, that is a sign you are a shaman. Yeah, so as a Scorpio rising, you're gonna, if you have this higher calling, a lot of people are going to be attracted to you. You've got to use prudence. I used to jump into every friendship, relationship, what have you, anytime someone admitted feelings, I automatically said, yes, come on. And this was because I had codependency and I needed validation when I was younger. And now I'm very aware. Even though someone wants to be friends with me, I'm 
I feel like my intuition's leveled up, guys. I don't know how to even explain it, but I know people's intentions. It's not really what they're saying or how they're saying it, but I know, I have this clear cognitance that I know their intentions. I, I'll hang out with somebody, right? And I'll, I'll think they're very attractive or I'll really like their friendship vibe and I'll hang out with them one time. And this has happened for strangers, what have you, even friends I've known for a minute. I don't know, I'm not dating anyone, so the only thing I can refer is friends right now. And I'll know intuitively they don't have good intentions. And it sucks because I, I do like, because of my Aquarius son, to make a lot of friends and bring them all together. Come on guys, let's go. But I'll know that either one, this person has a lot of healing to do, they're still holding on to trauma. And from trial and error of me coming into people's lives, attempting to, to help, me end up being and <laughs> ending up being the scapegoat being the one thrown out to the cold i've learned to stay away until someone actually needs it and is open to it and then two i'll know if someone's intentions are bad and that brings me to another thing you as a scorpio rising you come into people's lives and you challenge their beliefs you are the alchemist but you are also someone that when worlds collide that's the only way i can think of explaining it when worlds collide because you've done so much transforming in your life, when other people have trauma or shadow sides or things that are holding them back from living their dream life and you are thrown into their mist, you're being yourself, you're doing you, but you are challenging their belief system. So they're gonna wanna crucify you and throw you out or the, you're a catalyst and you help them unwaken, awaken themselves and go on a spiritual awakening and they're they're not gonna know it until you leave and I've had people I've had people come into my life too that have done that who have have brought an epiphany who have started a tower moment a transformation and I didn't like it at the time and I blamed them and I projected onto them and I was like it's all their fault I'm amazing they suck but then I realized oh no I was being in my in my physical reality I was being in my 3d I didn't realize that this person was sent by spirit in order to be a catalyst to my own knowledge to my own awakening to sides of myself I didn't like to see but it was ripped out and shown to the light and I appreciate it now I appreciate it so much shout out to whoever's in my life to know that hey thanks guys now I am the way I am <laughs> you've helped me along my way but yeah dude Scorpio rising you have that power so don't be afraid don't feel try not to get in victim mode when people do this to you push you out kick you out to the cold just forgive them and let it go I had to do this myself this morning do know that you are a strong healer and that one of your purposes in life is to heal others to give your light but also be prudent be protective of it listen to your intuition every time i've ignored my intuition i ended up in some shiz i ended up stranded i ended up in a bad situation every time i've listened to my intuition though the universe has come through it has gifted me with better people with a soul tribe with opportunities with love with adventure with nature with self-awareness with blessings with optimism with people just being straight up kind to me when i listen to my intuition so listen to your intuition scorpio rising i actually i kind of want to i want to i want to pull some cards for you i don't know i'm just feeling i'm just feeling like i need to so i'm gonna pull some cards this is so random <laughs> The Empress, oh, uh, wow, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Guys, they all fell down. Crap. <laughs> I have two. Okay. Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. So Scorpio Rising. What does Scorpio Rising need to know? Can I get one more card for them, please? Oh, okay. Temperance. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are learning how to balance yourself. Wow, is my camera sideways? Whatever, we're leaving it, it's fine. <laughs> It'll just lean this way. <laughs> so you guys, I got the Empress for you. The Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and Temperance, Balance. Yeah, so you guys, I see you as this beautiful Earth Queen, someone that is very in tune with their emotions. It's funny, we have two fetuses above her, be careful if you're not trying to get prego, like, oh, something could happen this weekend. Use a condom or be prepared to be called mom. I don't know. <laughs> I want jokes today. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> call her daddy. Okay, <laughs> focus. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so the Empress that tickled me. Yeah, you guys are really, you guys are really fertile at this time. I'm trying to, yeah, leave, leave turning up a little. <laughs> so yeah, you could have a lot of a really a plethora of ideas. I see a Taurus coming into your life, or you might be embracing your Taurus in your chart. I don't know if you guys have the same. I have Taurus in my second house. Go look that up. If you need help with your career on how to manifest more abundance in your life, figure it out. Figure out what's in your second house as a Scorpio rising because that rules how you're going to attract the most money in a very easy way. I have Taurus in my second house. So yeah, a Taurus could be coming in your life. You guys are gonna have a lot of really cool ideas. I see you as, you guys are just queens. You guys are queens. You smell good, you look good, you're amazing. You're a woman of high standards. Expect a lot more love offers, a lot of more dates, because I do believe Venus, Venus moved into Jupiter for July. So love is in the air, but also romance, pleasure, excitement, luxury. You guys are gonna be going on a lot of dates. You have a lot of love offers. You don't have to go if you don't want to, but people are gonna be offering. Ace of Pentacles, this is really good news. If you've been waiting on a career offer, guys, you're about to get an offer. You're about to get an opportunity. And this is an offer that is going to be something that it's a cause worth fighting for. It's something that you hold close and dear to your heart. It has to do with your freedom. It has to do with your self-expression. It has to do with something you're extremely passionate for. Your pursuit of happiness, I'm hearing. Your, your, your passion, your life purpose. You're about to get an offer. This is lucrative. This is a physical offer, a job opportunity that is going to light you on fire. You're gonna be using a lot of knowledge. It ha might have to do with the occult. This might be hidden from you, but it's about to, I see as you've been sleeping under these roots and it's about to come bursting forth, forth like a lightning bolt. Temperance, I feel you're learning how to balance more things in your life or your life is about to get really balanced, Scorpios. I know we've had a tough year, Scorpio Risings. Oh my God, Pluto has been acting crazy, wiling out. Also, embrace your intuition. Again, we have the snake at the very top of his head. So embrace your intuition. Let's see, hold on. I've, messages you could be seeing ets you could be seeing star seeds are revealing themselves to you now look into sacred geometry you could have some sightings soon dancing ballerina i'm getting some images here black swan that movie dragon dragon tails The key is within your subconscious mind. Own your sexuality, own pleasure. The more you own pleasure, the more you own your own pleasure, the more people are gonna see you as this empress. So they're already seeing you, but they're gonna see you even higher than that. Maybe you owning your own sexuality is bringing in this, this wonderful opportunity because of your fruitfulness. You guys got that good fruit. I heard mango. She got that good, good. I'm on that good cushion alcohol. I'm a ball to the day I fall. Heard that song. Something about walnuts too. The movie Spy Kids. That's all I'm getting for you guys. All right, I love you so much. Let me know how you like this video. And if it resonated with you, drop a Scorpio Zodiac emoji if you made it this far. If you resonate with my energy, I do offer birth chart readings, tarot readings, and life coaching on my Etsy shop. I love you guys so much. Link is in the description. Goodbye.